Hey guys, it's me, Patty. Um, as you know, Valentine's Day is fast approaching. Today is the end of January. Um, and so I like to do crafts and I'm going to do a Valentine's Day craft for you. Um, to start out, I had this white basket. It had this pink gingham ribbon on it and I didn't want that. So I got this. Um, I actually had this from last Valentine's Day. It's uh, I got it at Dollar Tree, so it only cost me a dollar. And I had this basket that I got that was going to be thrown away when I worked at Dollar General. So the basket was free, and the ribbon only cost me a dollar. I got the little frogs that I'm going to put in the basket with the little heart that says love. Um, got them at a thrift store for like a quarter and um, bought all these flowers for our wedding. And I actually bought all the flowers at Dollar Tree also. So for like, I don't know, there's like maybe 10 bushels of flowers there. So for like 11, 12 bucks, I've got a craft that I'm gonna do. So the first thing I did was take the pink ribbon out and I replaced it with my heart ribbon. Now I'm just gonna make a simple bow in the front. plugged in and my plethora of glue sticks so I'm just tying a simple bow you know like like you tie your shoes and then I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing over and over to make it bigger and then I'll fluff it I just want to make sure that the pattern of the heart stays on the outside when I do it. That's why I'm doing it like the little kid way of tying a bow and not you know, loop it around so that I can make sure the pattern stays. You know, I think I'm actually going to take the heart and I'm going to put it in the center of my bow. Right there. So, let me just go ahead and fluff this out. Make it look pretty. Okay, pause. Okay, so I think I've got my bow pretty good. I'm going to go ahead. a little bit so it doesn't unfray. Okay. That looks uh, decent. <laughs> I mean, no one said it had to be perfect. good amount of glue because it is fabric and I'm just going to stick it right there give it a nice hold until I feel it's secure okay then I'm going to take my frogs and I'm going to actually Put a little glue on their booties to make sure they stay in there. And whenever you're working with fabric, like even ribbon or, you know, frogs or whatever, you've got to use a little extra glue on these because they, they 
like to absorb it. them down in. Give them a nice little squat push. Perfect. Okay, I think I'm only going to probably end up using about one bushel of each. Might not even use the black. Maybe two red the white roses. The baby's breath and two red roses. So my most handy dandy tool is, um, this was my dad's Leatherman and, um, I use it to cut my flowers. <laughs> He's probably like screaming at me like, that's my Leatherman, but oh well, <laughs> at least it's getting used, right? all these off and then I will be right back with you. All right so I've got some stems that are pretty short and then I've got a few that are longer. Um, I like to leave the green leaves on just because it helps make it look a little fuller. I mean when you're out in nature they have leaves. So <laughs> um, what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to set it and see how it looks and then I'm actually going to glue right here on the side of the leaf and I'm just going to glue it to the side of the basket. In the front I'll do some of the white these leaves up. I'll alternate red, white, red, white. separate my short stems and my long stems. <laughs> Probably should have, but you know. I only have a few white ones, so I want to keep them near the front. No clue what that noise was if you heard it. It sounded like maybe Robbie's closet. <laughs> and then, um, and I'm just going to go ahead and get all my little stringies <laughs> because. They love to make stringies. Okay. I'm going to take some more and I'm just going to go around. I may not even have to glue these ones because the frogs are kind of holding them. really short and I'm going to glue them right there. That way I know they stay. <laughs> so I'm just putting a little glue on here. My glue gun is so old. a lot of use. It doesn't work properly, but it still heats the glue up and does what that. So that's all I care about. It just doesn't always pull the glue down in with it. So sometimes I have to give it a little much.
I don't have my rhythm yet. <laughs> If we can figure out how to do some music over this so you're not listening to Dead Silence, then we'll do that. <laughs> I apologize for not talking and explaining, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I've got these little baby breaths and I'm just going to stick them down in here. And there we go. I've got, in less than half an hour, I made a cute little Valentine's Day centerpiece for the table or wherever I feel like putting it. I actually think I'm gonna put it up on top of my cabinet over here. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's really simple. Less than $10, $12, and you can make yourself a cute little thing. Don't be afraid of Dollar Tree. Don't be afraid of thrift stores. So there's my little craft tutorial. I hope you like it, and I hope it inspires you to do some crafts. Thanks. Hi, I'm Billy. I'm Patty. So I hope you enjoyed my um, tutorial on my Valentine's centerpiece. Um, don't be afraid of crafts. Um, it doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't have to cost a lot. Um, actually, 90% of the stuff that I used was stuff that I already had. A hundred percent, actually, because, yeah, <laughs> was stuff that I already had. Um, like I said, I did get the little frogs for, like, a quarter at um, a thrift store. And I got the ribbon at Dollar Tree and the flowers at Dollar Tree. And the basket was going in the trash. So, you know, don't be afraid to spend a little bit of money. Like, it was maybe ten bucks when it all boils down to what I actually spent. Yeah, and you made a great centerpiece out yeah. of it. Yeah, so don't be afraid of crafts. They're not scary. They won't hurt you, unless you burn yourself with your glue gun, and then it hurts, but only for a little while. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Don't do no. that. <laughs> so um, we, I know in our last video we said we were going to try and keep up with our videos, but honestly, this is no lie, <laughs> like literally... Three days after filming that video, I got laryngitis and couldn't talk for like a week. 
horrible. I'm sure you wouldn't want to hear squeaking. No, it was horrible. <laughs> and I've had people tell me that Billy doesn't talk very loud in the videos, so you wouldn't have heard anybody talking. Yeah, it would just been the camera staring. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, um, so my voice is still a little... I'm sure you can probably hear it if you've watched some of our older videos. Um, it's still a little raspy. But uh, I'm getting better. It's just laryngitis. And yeah. so... But we, I really want to thank the people that have subscribed to us. Yes. I mean, we really appreciate it. Yes. And thank you so much. You guys are the reason that we do this. Mm -hmm. And, you know, share us, spread us, spread the word. Let yeah. people know that, hey, these guys are doing some fun stuff. I hope we are anyway. <laughs> we seem to be doing some more. Yes. Um, hopefully we'll be getting a, a decent camera and we can do some good stuff at the parks. Yeah. Um, because it's easier to walk around. Yeah, with. that has better stability, um, motion stability, so, and not my phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little hard to walk around with a phone going boing, boing, Yeah, boing, boing. so, um, because those are the videos that you guys seem to really like, is yeah. our universal videos, so. And or, hopefully when the King Kong opens. Yes, that'll be opening this summer, as well as, um, the Hulk coaster will be reopening. Hi, Bootsy. <laughs> that's, that's Bootsy back there. That's yep. our kitty cat. <laughs> um, so <laughs> they'll be reopening, and um, there's a lot of stuff going on over at Universal, and mm. um, we're going February sixth, and hopefully we'll you know at least do some uh, updates on the king kong and what's going on with the hulk i hear there's mm -hmm. some track going up finally yeah and um but we're going with my sister sister and <laughs> and um i don't know how they feel about uh being in our videos i know her husband doesn't even have a facebook like who doesn't have facebook yeah. but we'll so <laughs> sure to ask them and yeah <laughs> and uh so we'll we'll do a little bit of filming for sure um <laughs> i just saw her walking around <laughs> creeping around back yeah. there <laughs> but um so we're gonna do some more cooking videos and definitely for sure see what billy can come up with yeah. um and maybe some more crafts depending how this one goes and uh because i love doing my crafts so, oh, and it's inexpensive. Might do an unboxing video. Too. Oh, yes, an unboxing. Because I had an issue with a mixer that I got for Christmas. It was a Sunbeam mixer. And the beaters wouldn't stay in the, um, the mixer. So I sent an email to Sunbeam, and they are supposed to be sending me a new mixer. Brand new mixer. So... We'll see how that goes, and um, you know if if they actually do send me a mixer, and you know, I'm sorry, I got distracted <laughs> by the cat. Um, <laughs> if they do send me a mixer, and you know, I'll I'll unbox it and show you what what it is, and make sure it works, and um, give you my review because it's a really I I've used it twice before it stopped working, and uh, it was a great mixer. I loved it so. Hopefully, I get a new one soon. Yeah. So. All right. Um, I don't have anything else. I to don't say. have anything else either. <laughs> <laughs> we're still learning. We're still and learning. Yeah. We're we're, so. we're gonna do the best we can. Yeah. And uh, we really, like I said before, we really appreciate all the subscribers we yes. have. Yes. So um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Yes. No thumbs down. That's mean people. <laughs> and and, um, <laughs> and no mean people. Click subscribe if yes. you haven't already. Um, you we're click gonna it, click that red button, punch yep. it, whatever you want to do to it. Yeah, well, don't punch it. You might break your phone or your, you know, whatever yeah. tablet. Do something with it. Computer screen. <laughs> um, and share, share yes. the video. Share. Um, we have a Facebook page, The Billy and Patty Show on Facebook. Check so us out. Check us out. Where we post all our videos there and a few, few updates every now and then. So. Um, I guess that's it for now, and I hope you enjoyed my, my Valentine's tutorial. Um, there'll definitely be more oh, soon. Yeah. So, definitely. so thanks so much for subscribing and watching, and 
We hope you have an awesome day. I'm Patty. And I'm Billy. Have a great night. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.